So in this video, we are going to configure two devices that is VTO and VTH that we call our token intro devices. So we have a Tahua config tool already installed on my PC. You can find this config tool on the Tahua security website. Go to support option tools and you will find this config tool. You can download it from there. Okay, in this uh, case, well, I have already downloaded it here. So make uh, sure your devices are visible here. And uh, if you are doing it the first time, maybe the devices are in uninitialized. So you click here and initialize the device first. In my case, the device was already initialized, so I don't need to follow this. And also make sure you, when you have a new device, your IP segment might be in 192.168.1 or something. So make sure your PC IP address are in the same IP address so you can find these devices on the config tool. So let's start the configuration process. So first we'll search here VD and find the devices that we are going to configure today. So we have PTO 2202F that is an outdoor device and a VTH 22421 uh, indoor device. We are going to configure these two devices that is one VT or one VTH. And uh, regarding the VT012, we'll make another video for this. So the configuration will start through the welding config. We'll go to the welding config and you can find here all the devices are visible. First of all, we put the global parameters. Global parameters is setting the server and the VTO details, and VTH information. Make sure you know the IP address of all the devices. This 4.2 and it's 4.54. The global parameters, first thing is we change the server address because we are using server as a VTO in this case. And 4.2 will be our server. That is an outdoor device, so we use this as a server. 5060 let it be server is that admin and server is like a video we we'll put the password here three admin one two three as i have set the password i'll put the same here. the zip address you don't need to change let it be and the video video is similar like admin one two three three and the vth password admin and the password I modified during initialization 1234567 is the password for that. Maybe your, your passwords might be different than me so you put the password which you set during the initialization process. Okay, we'll click on okay. Next we create a node. So in our case we are using a villa that is a villa outdoor station and a one indoor. Okay, villa one in outdoor, one indoor. So you follow the same node. One main VTH. If you have two devices, two outdoor devices, then you can click on sub as well. Okay. So in my case, I have one, and so I will click on one here. Now I'll put here villa. That is this one main station. I'll association with this. So it's here already associated with the node. And host that is my VTH. I'll do the association so both devices are here. So this is outdoor, this is indoor. Okay, now go to the association list here. It's already made the nodes and click here and config. Okay, let these devices restart. After restarting, you will find that your devices will be able to call each other okay you can press the button and check configuration and uh, uh, whether you are receiving the call or not the green tick shows the both devices are configured let's wait for the devices to restart Calling now. Please wait a moment.